Hello everybody, we are back at Salute once more and I'm joined by James from Ashiro Models uh, who is responsible for the ridiculous castle for the city of Gradara. Um, the ongoing saga of this has been a thing of joy and beauty on the internet for months uh, but this isn't the only thing you've done uh, and are, are working on. You've... Tell us a bit about yourself before we talk about the, the war gaming bits and pieces because uh, I'd be fascinated to see where you come from. Okay. Um, I've been an architectural model maker for 25 years now, um, and I actually set up self-employed doing Oshiro models in 2018. So I've been doing it for myself for quite a while now. But I've always had an interest in wargaming and history. And even at school, I was making small cardboard buildings, as you do when you're at school. Yeah, yeah. And we would play D&D at the school club and then it developed into wargaming after that. And it, it's just grown from there, really. So I first became aware of Shiro, gonna say three years ago. Um, weirdly, I was looking for something entirely different. I think it was Wiley Games, you were stocking some of their oh, was, books at yes. that stage. And that, and that threw up your website. And then I started going, oh, but what else do you do that isn't Wiley? And I'm going, oh my God, and started to see a whole range of resin buildings, which were absolutely to die for. Um, and that range has continued to sort of expand and grow. You're currently on Kickstarter as well at the moment. Yes, yeah. Um, for a while now, I've wanted to have most of the buildings that I do with accessible interiors. So when they were originally designed, big battles were more prevalent than they are now. So, I mean, some of the buildings I designed them seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, so they've been around for quite a while. And seeing all the MDF terrain, the printed stuff, it's all got accessible interiors, so I thought, it's about time to do the same for myself, yeah. just to give people the option of playing on the inside of the buildings. How, how long has it taken then for the likes of the research for, say, the, the current range of feudal Japanese stuff is seven, eight buildings on that Kickstarter? Um, no, there are nine buildings in that Kickstarter, and then I've got, Oh, it's a good question. It's probably about 20 buildings, actual buildings, yeah. and then there's all the accessories and wall sections and all the rest of it. Tory so it's gates and little road shack shrines and stuff. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, sorry, what was the question? How, how long did it take to do the research for oh, this? Right, no. Terrible TV, sorry. Um, so I've always been interested in Japan for quite a while. Um, I try and research a group of buildings at the same time just so they get the same feel. Generally, it takes quite a while because I tend to get bogged down in the details and you just end up going down a rabbit hole and not coming out for a while. And a few hours later you think, oh no, what have I done? And then you have to start again and go into it. Um, fortunately, I get to go to Japan quite often and we go and visit historical sites. A lot of the castles and museums have physical models there. So I've, I have thousands of pictures of their models, which I use for inspiration for my own. Um, I try and get the more rural buildings because they will be more common. And a lot of the other companies have the more elaborate buildings, which are difficult to cast in resin. Yeah. So I just try and keep it as simple as possible, but appealable at the same time. Yeah. So do you have plans to uh, extend the, the field Japanese range further still, or do you think this is more or less a good coverage now and move on to somewhere else? Um, it's good coverage. I'm happy with it as it is but with a lot of things, I would like to expand it. Um, I have thought about doing a 28 mil castle, stone castle instead of the wooden one, which I do at the moment. It's a toss up on how to do it. So I'm, I'm still thinking about that at the moment. I will be bringing out a 15 mil castle, which I did quite a while ago. Um, so I'll be bringing that out again, possibly as a Kickstarter. Um, a few more buildings. I might think about doing slightly larger buildings. Um, because of the interior, it makes them a bit easier to cast. Although you use more material with the mould, they're a bit easier to cast in general. They're also a little bit easier to game with because you've got more room for the bases and the like as well. So oh, yeah. you, sometimes going slightly exaggerated works better in that regard. Oh, it does, yes, yeah. And when I first designed them, as I mentioned earlier, um, bigger battles were more prevalent, so the footprint was a bit smaller. But now skirmish games that come to the fall, yeah. a bigger footprint is preferable for the buildings, yeah. Well, uh, as people will have seen, uh, with the constant videos of this, the level of detail that 
gets put in on all of the Oshiro work is absolutely superb. If you've not checked out his range, then you should go to oshiromodels.co.uk. That's right, yes, thank you. Yes. And uh, have a look there. There's a bundle of stuff that will keep you happy for your gaming for some time. We're going to crack on and see what else Salute has to offer.